why the narcissist needs to isolate you. Are you in a relationship today that has you feeling a little bit lonely? Have you been losing touch with your friends and family and you're finding yourself devoting all your time to be with your significant other? If this describes you, please stick around for the next few minutes because I'm going to try and help you understand what's happening here. I'm going to be discussing how and why the narcissist needs to isolate you. First off, I want to talk about the how. It's interesting because in the beginning of the relationship, I'll bet when you first met this person, they were awesome. They may have even been the life of the party and they swept you off your feet. You were so thrilled to be with them. You just couldn't wait to introduce them to all your friends and family. And guess what? That's what they expected you to do. This is how they get embedded into your life so easily. They make you feel like the most special person in the world. And in turn, you feel the same way about them. It's like they have that new car scent that we all love, right? Narcissists are unstoppable when they have that mask on because as long as they can keep that shield up, they appear to be a totally normal person. They're actually really cool at that point, right? I mean, seriously, if they weren't, you wouldn't have been attracted to them in the first place. And once they hook you in, then it's time for them to engage with everyone around you so they can determine what steps they need to take to remove those people from your life. But after you've been with them for a while, that awesome new car scent starts to wear off. That awesome person starts to transform into something different. But it happens so slowly and methodically, you don't even realize what's happening. Well, here's what's happening, guys. The narcissist is saying things and doing things to isolate you from your friends and family. They'll start planting doubts in your head about your friends, making you wonder if they're really even your friends. They'll make up lies and say bad things about your friends to try to get you to create distance. They'll say things like, I'm all you really need. You don't need those other people in your life. They're just dragging you down. Let me take care of you. They'll tell you they don't approve of your friends and guilt you into abandoning those friends. And even if you don't want to, you'll do it anyway just to make them happy. You'll make those sacrifices just to keep the peace. Trust me here, guys. Narcissists are great at manipulation. They have an uncanny ability to make us believe most of what they tell us. And when they get you to that place where you're blindly believing anything they say, the isolation will almost be complete. That dream you were living in starts to transform into a nightmare. And all of a sudden, before you realize what's going on, you find yourself totally isolated. And the only person you have in your life now is the narcissist. So that's how they do it, guys. They alienate you from everyone in your life. But why? Why do they need to do this to you? Well, this is where the why comes into play, guys. Everyone you associate with is considered a threat to a narcissist. And as you know, they hate to be threatened by anything. Their goal from day one is to isolate you from everyone but them. They want you all for themselves. Because when other people are in your life, they look at that as you giving yourself to others. You're giving your time, your thoughts, your opinions, your attention. Anything you might be giving to others, you're taking away from what you're giving the narcissist. And trust me, that annoys the shit out of them. Narcissists are some of the most selfish people on the planet. They'll squeeze every ounce of attention out of you they can, and they'll destroy any relationships you have with other people without even batting an eye, because they don't give a shit about anyone but themselves. Think about it, guys. 
You know your friends and family way better than the narcissist. But you believe the lies and fell for the tricks. Why would you let them ruin those relationships? You don't do it because you want to. You do it because they've got you in this trance. They've been able to make you question things you never thought you'd question. And they've figured out how to keep you in fear of losing them. So you go along with whatever they want. And listen up close here. We've all done this at some point with a narcissist. We sacrifice our happiness with other people just to try and make the narcissist happy. We think at the time that by abandoning others and giving them everything we have, that will make them happy. But guess what? It never does. So when we finally open our eyes and take a look at what they've done to us, all we see is this big path of destruction. It's like a tornado came into our life and demolished everything around us and left us with nothing. And what happens after that tornado rips through our life and leaves us with nothing? We rebuild. We have to. I know it's just another analogy, guys, but take a minute and think about it. If your house was destroyed by a tornado, you'd have to do something about it. You'd have to go find another place to live, right? But instead of a house being destroyed, it's your emotional foundation that's been destroyed. You had this awesome life before the narcissist. You had great friends and a great relationship with your family. You thought this person coming into your life was going to be the icing on the cake. They would be another piece of happiness you would add to your life. Someone that was going to lift you to a new and higher level. They seemed like the perfect addition. But instead, they turned into that tornado and ripped everything apart. I hope this message today will help you understand what to look for in your next relationship. I hope you have a better understanding of how and why narcissists isolate you. And I pray that you will go and rebuild your life and never let anything like this happen to you ever again. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, keep looking out for those signs. Stay alert. Be vigilant. Be strong. Be brave. And go live your best life today.